Welcome to the award-winning Smart XBRL. Today, we're going to highlight just some of the features that make Smart XBRL so fast and easy that we've actually had clients who've been able to finish their filing start to end in one day. First, let's see how we can use Smart XBRL to import data automatically. Now, once we sign in, you'll notice all of the current filings on the left-hand side of the screen. Now, let's start our own filing. So let's go to Action and New Filing. And here, we'll fill out the basic information for our filing and choose our Word document and automatically import all the data to XBRL. Now, let's see the actual Word document so you can get a sense of how accurate Smart XBRL really is. Smart XBRL was designed to work with Word so you don't have to change your workflow or waste time copying and pasting. Here's the balance sheet for this filing. So let's go ahead and open it up in Smart XBRL and you'll notice that not only has all the data been automatically imported with the tables and formatting preserved, but Smart XBRL has also automatically selected the best tag for each item. Here, we can see all of the tags and data that have been automatically imported from Word with the formatting preserved. Smart XBRL recommends the best tags from the GAP database, and we can also choose other recommended tags when we pull down the menu. These are the other recommended tags. You also have the option to customize tags or search for other tags. Here's a create and search tag menu where you can search for tags or create a unique tag to fit your needs. So already, Smart XBRL has done a huge amount of work for us. Next, we have the option of using Smart Roll to save even more time. In just one click, Smart Roll allows you to roll over tags from previous quarters or years for your entire filing. This includes financial statements, notes to financial statements, as well as notes details. So all of these areas can have their tags imported over from previous years or quarters XBRL. So let's go into our other filing where we already have previous years XBRL loaded up. So here's our current document and here's previous years XBRL. Accessing any previous financial documents is very simple. Simply go to sec.gov and search for your company name. Here we'll use Microsoft as an example. So as you can see, all of Microsoft's financial documents are available for download with just a click. Once we've downloaded and imported previous year's financial document, it's just one click and Smart XBRL will be ready to go. Smart XBRL pulls tags from all of these areas from previous year's filing and intelligently applies them to current year's filing. Now here we have all of the areas from which we can import tags to our current filing, like financial statements, notes to financial statements, and also notes details. And all of this with just one click. Smart XBRL is now automatically importing all of our tags, and it's done just like that. So let's see the results. Here's our current filing, and we can see all of the changes in our financial statements. So in balance sheets, these areas are all of the changes that we ordinarily would have had to do manually, but Smart Roll does for us automatically. Now that we've rolled over all of previous year's tags with Smart Roll, all we have to do is validate and preview all according to SEC standards, and we can do that all in Smart XBRL. Now let's go to Action and Validate and Preview XBRL, and Smart XBRL will create an accurate preview of your filing. Here we have the preview of our balance sheets, exactly how it will look in XBRL, so you can be sure that your XBRL is both accurate and meets SEC standards. So far, we've automatically imported all of our data from our Word document. We've rolled over tags from previous year's filings, and we've validated and previewed all within Smart XBRL. The only thing left to do is to make any last minute changes you have. Not only does Smart XBRL make last minute changes possible, but easy. Because Smart XBRL is completely cloud-based, you can collaborate with others on the filing easily, and any changes you make will not have to be transferred through Word or exported to Word. All of your changes can be made easily in the cloud. Let's see an example. Let's go to the financial statements and the statement of operations. Here we have the option to either add a column, delete a column, and we also have the option to add rows or delete rows. This is great for any last minute changes without having to export to Word. But what if we need to make a huge last minute change? Let's say we need to add a note. Doing this with Smart XBRL is really quite simple. All we have to do is go to Actions and then Add Document. 
Here, we'll be able to make any huge last minute changes we'd like to make. So let's pick the Word document that contains our note. And once we've done that, all we have to do is press OK. Now SmartXBRL is importing our note. And it's done. So all we have to do to preview it is go to Notes to Financial Statements, and there we'll be able to preview the entire note. Once we've finished all of our last minute changes, we can use Calculation Link Base to check all of our numbers as well as debits, credits, and negations. Let's see how this works with our Statement of Operations. Now let's go to Action and Calculation Link Base. Let's say that we need to take care of total expenses. Simply select Total Expenses and all the corresponding items. The same goes for Net Income. We select and we pick all the corresponding items. You don't have to be an accounting expert to get your filing done with Smart XBRL. Just like that, we've made our changes and all we have to do is press Save Changes. And Smart XBRL will apply all of the following to our filing. And just like that, we've saved our changes. And now, we're ready to generate XBRL. But before we generate, Smart XBRL lets us know whether each area of our filing is accurate and meets SEC standards. Here we can see that all of the areas that we filed today meet SEC standards, so now we're ready to generate.